<laughs> hey, what's going oh, on? I can't wait to have that out. No, it's fine. No, no. Just leave that in. No. no. The one time you feel like actually editing the podcast, you're going to edit one thing out. I mean, they like do you. it all the time, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. All right, whatever. So, welcome to the podcast. It's, uh... It's just me and Zarky again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just people don't want to join in. I like to do that. <coughs> a couple of weeks of this, our friends are going to start feeling bad and want to hop in. Right? Oh, dude, that's smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, I didn't man, think about that. It's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we're just gonna have like random people end up in here. Yeah. So if you want to be part of the podcast, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. We're not doing that. No. We're too little. Would be a bad idea. Too little. Too small. Um, this is a problem. I get all the time, right, right boys? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, anyways. I'm Zarky. That's Sunnyline. Yeah. Let me do the introduction again, real quick. Yeah. Um, what do we got today? What do we have? Is there anything in particular you would like to talk about, or do you want me just to lead everything? Uh, just uh, lead the way. No, I honestly don't really have much. I can, in like gaming news, it's not much. Are we even a gaming podcast? I feel like we always just kind of no, shoot the shit. We're, we're just, yeah, we just shoot the shit. But I mean, like I got, I got nothing for gaming news. I got nothing for, uh, oh, I mean, for mo- movie wise, if you guys love uh, the Harry Potter series, Fantastic Beasts, number two, I, I forget the name of it. Something, something but, Griswold. Yeah, and Greenwald, or Greenwald, or whatever the fucking name is, is out now. You see it? I have not. I'm waiting for my friend. <laughs> the fuck to, is uh, that movie news? Hey, this movie's out, and I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it, but I'm assuming it's okay. That's how much is going on in our lives that that counts as news for us. <laughs> Sorry that my voice is still kind of fucked up. <clears throat> I, I think, yeah, that's what, uh, ditto, so. My bad. And uh, I'm not sorry. No, oh, dogs. Doggos. It's called Fantastic, uh, Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald. I saw yeah, it. See, did you actually, though? Yeah. Uh, what you think? Uh, it's better than the first one. Hmm. So the first Fantastic Beast movies had some definite pacing issues in IMO, right? Mm-hmm. Where it just, stuff kind of just, just happens in that movie, and it's kind of weird and kind of bad. But it's still like an enjoyable movie. This one, it definitely yeah. felt like they were like, okay, we're not going to make the same mistakes this time. So it feels yeah. like a, it's much more better organized. They know what the fuck they're doing. And we get down to fucking business. That means it is kind of longer still. Yeah. Like, is it how long? Let's see. It is. Can't get a time on it. I don't know. A trip to the movies is a fucking day, dude. I I figured like you in particular like just go to the movies and like watch three or two movies that are out right now or whatever Uh, usually what it is is we go and then after that we'll have like lunch or dinner or whatever and then like hey you want to do watch another movie Uh, Uh, okay yes or no you know yeah yeah, yeah. but still just like even if the movie is like an hour and a half long you have to go like a little bit early because I personally love seeing the fucking trailers beforehand even though I hate trailers, mm-hmm. it's fun to watch those things. <laughs> I, just got, I got accustomed to, like, I have an extra 10 minutes, depending on where I'm going. I have an extra 10 minutes to find parking and, like, get, like, snacks if I want to or whatever. Yeah, you have to dedicate, still. like, 30 minutes beforehand. Before you even fucking watch the goddamn movie. And if you're like me, then you stay till after the credits, which is, like, another 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. I mean, so even like an hour and a half movie turns into like a two, three hour ordeal. But even though I like cinema is kind of fucked up in that kind of like monopolizing like movies and they're first coming out, I still like the cinema experience of going to the theaters and watching movies. Yeah. I think I also happen to live in an area where like the theater experience is really good. Because I've never gone to the theaters and had the movie ruined by, like, the people, people around me. Yeah. 
Like, I would say the closest it's ever gotten is uh, when I saw Deadpool 1 in theaters for the first time. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Ah. When I saw Deadpool 1 in the theaters for the first time, someone brought, like, a two, like a five-year-old. Jeez. And, like, every time there was, like, a sex joke, he'd be like, what are they talking about? And it was kind of funny. But he only did it, like, two or three times loudly. Because he was near the front, so, like, I can kind of hear him yelling. And it was, like, yeah. one thing where it makes, like, the, like, pegging joke. And then, uh, like, the woman gets up and she has, like, the strap on and what's his face is, like, whew. And then I just hear, like, a little kid just be like, what's that in his butt? <laughs> and, it, and it was, like, genuinely really funny. <laughs> and fucking watching Black Panther was a fucking riot, dude. Like, the most stereotypical, like, like, that stereotype of, like, sassy black lady. Yeah. There was literally, like, three of them in the row behind me. Like, directly behind me. I think you talked about this before, so right? So every time, like, anything happened, they were popping off. And it was, yeah. and, like, the whole, like, theater was laughing. Because it was, like, a full, like, full fucking theater. <laughs> and it was a fucking riot. I was just talking about my movie experiences in my local theater. Like, your love of movie theater? Yeah, actually. Lo his love of going and enjoying mm. films with people's... Nice. Like, you see, the greatest thing about it is that I don't have to interact with anyone around me. Yeah. That's true. But people also think you're, like, super weird for going to a movie by yourself, though. I That's usually fun. don't live by myself. And even then... When I do go by myself, it's like, I'm gonna go watch a horror movie and, like, people don't give a shit because it's, like, me and, like, an old lady that's just kind of exists to be in that theater all the time because she has nothing else to do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've gone to the Dollar Theater a couple times and it's, like, way smaller and, like, it only seats, like, maybe 30, 40 people. <laughs> Sounds about right. But, like, there's always, like, at least, like, two elderly people in every auditorium, and I'm like, how the hell are you, like, what's going on? Is this <laughs> is what they do, like, all day? Because if so, that's amazing. <clears throat> Ow. Wait, how did we even get here? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, Fantastic Beasts. Anyway. Um, I want to see a new movie, but also amazing. I don't want to support Johnny Depp, so... Oh yeah, I forgot. Looks like I'm not watching that. Looks theaters. like you're just gonna have to wait and until it's on the internet. Well, I would never do that. I would never, <laughs> I would never watch a movie that wasn't through a purchased means. <clears throat> yeah, 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 totally. It's because he beats his wife. It's because he's also a douchebag. <laughs> That's like one of the, like, the sad the... things is I hear like certain actors that I like we're like yeah in real life they're kind of assholes. Oh yeah, no, it's it's always sad when you're like oh, but I really liked him in this X movie. Like I've seen like a bunch of Bill Murray movies just over the course of time, and then like you hear like Bill Murray's kind of a dick and you're like oh man, like when people are like you know how his character in Ghostbusters how he's kind of an asshole, yeah that's just kind of how he is. Yeah, that's just kind of Bill Murray, and you're like oh Bill man. Murray being Bill Murray, yep. Yeah. Or uh, um, Alec Baldwin, I hear, is kind of a dick. Uh, Danny Masterson, I was like, yeah, he's a funny guy. And then I was like, oh. Uh. It's nice to know that like the Marvel movie hero people are actually apparently really nice. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It's almost as if they're superheroes, and then like everybody that would approach them would be like, oh, you're so cool, Mr. Captain America. I also feel like it's one well, of those it's things because where, like, it's like I'm, one of those gray uh, areas. Like, yeah. literally, like if they weren't nice to fans or whatever, it would be like really shitty, hard. It'd be hard. It, it would be it, yeah, awesome. Disney Disney would lose out on a lot of stock of money. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna well, say. Well, not only that, but like it's like a franchise that kids like a lot. Yeah, I was gonna and... bring up how like they have to be able to deal with kids one hundred percent for sure. Like, I don't think they'd be able to get the role if like they were ever mean to kids. Um, but then I think, like, generally they're just nice people anyway, so it helps. Yeah. 
Like, kind of same with, um... Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. He's, like, very nice, but he plays, like, a fucking, like, douchebag character. He has a lot of fucking range, dude. Yeah. Which guy? Ryan I think Reynolds. right now he's, he's known oh, yeah. for... Also, okay... I'm gonna bring up Detective Pikachu. I'm gonna die on this hill. <laughs> so everyone's mad about Detective Pikachu, but they forget that the actual game also had the same like kind of voice. It's not like a new concept. It's based on like a pre-existing media. Yeah, it's fine. And and the Pokemon I've talked before. People are stupid. I feel like people are just and they mad don't know. it's not Danny DeVito. Yeah, yeah but people, if it was Danny DeVito, would be mad too. Yeah, but he like he never even wanted it. Well, Brown Reynolds sounds more like the source material. Yeah. See if all right, look, my like it's funny and all, but it's not I gonna mean, happen because I was like saying, what if they make Mr. Mime? The Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny, DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito. You see Danny DeVito that post where Danny DeVito's just cooking stuff. Yeah. But he's so wholesome now. He's just let him live his life. You know. Just know the man. Just like doing stuff. Look, after the movie comes out, someone's gonna take voice clips from It's I Always know. Sunny in Philadelphia yeah. and put them over Detective Pikachu. It's fine. We'll get what we want. Do you think they even went to Danny DeVito? What if he turned it down and that's the reason? It'd be funny, actually. He's like, I'm not doing that. Like, like the I mean, there, there, uh, I think there's him, like. I mean, he's like, the fuck is a Pikachu? Same. Yeah. I think it was an interview too where it was just like hey would you do the text Pikachu thing he's like what's a Pikachu and what's Pokemon yeah he did an Eminem ad and I think that everyone <laughs> see everybody everybody knows Eminem I think Eminem everyone though. should be thankful for the Eminem ad and stop there <laughs> because that shit's hilarious I don't even think people have noticed that Eminem ad Man, Eminem, Eminem ad is like movie. fucking yeah, it's next level Danny DeVito like meme. There's always Eminem theaters at Cinemark because there's I guess direct sponsor of Cinemark, so I've seen like every Eminem ad ever. <laughs> yeah. Cinemark's the theaters I go to. The shitty part is like Cinemark is kind of smaller than like AMC or whatever the other theater is. Yeah. Uh... And there's no AMC theater near my house at all. Like, it's literally like a two, three hour drive to go to an AMC. Do you have an AMC <laughs> near where you live, Zaggy? I do. I also have Pacific Theater near me. How do you like those? Yeah, hey, whatever. I'm, I'm kind of indifferent about, like, where I go. It's just like, as long as the seats are comfortable, I'm fine with whatever. Like, uh, there's also Reagan seat. Reagan seat? Regen Regency? I don't know. It's one of those two. It's what? that. And, um,. There's seats, oh, like, the inclined backwards. Yeah, yeah like, uh, they're just inkling. That's pretty like, standard. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, is it, though? Because, like, every time I go to the... Here now. Yeah, I guess they're becoming, yeah. <clears throat> they're standard here already. Every theater that's here has reclining seats that are, like, the ch actual chairs. Yeah. And they're usually... I mean, I just want, I just want to go to, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh... <sighs> is that called the fort? Um... I forget what it's called, but it's basically one of those theaters that like have a dine-in while you watch the movie. So I'm like, yes, yes, please. Oh, yeah. We only have one of those. Oh, there's like a really big IMAX theater by like the mall where I live, and that has that, and it's pretty neat. Hmm. See, you can, like, you uh, can totally get kicked out. They have like from... burgers and shit over there. Yeah. Like you can totally get kicked out from uh, those places if you're being too loud. I'm like, yes, yes. This is no one believes. like the Ryan Ryan and Reynolds of you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's Ryan Reynolds. I forgot. That he... <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That Jack throwback to the Jack Septicai interview for, with Ryan Reynolds, where Ryan Reynolds touches Jack Septicai's thigh, and then Jack Septicai is like, "I thought I was gonna pee myself when he did that. It was like the best moment of my life, but I had to remain calm during the interview to look <laughs> professional." I'm like. What is what is this world that we live in? Actually, like I'm just gonna talk about YouTube content for a second. Like everyone's pretty great. like, like when you think about channels that are old but still here. Like let's talk about like you know like PewDiePie, okay, and uh, Shane Dawson, I guess. But I don't know. It's like different content. But um, like in terms of like gaming, so it's like Markiplier, Jack Septi. The reason that. They have people like hate them still probably, but like the the reason they have this longevity is because 
Like, they're so good at adapting their content. Yeah. And they've grown as people, yeah. so they're able okay. to do that. And then people like, what's a gamer that sucks? Us. Uh, Us, yeah. <laughs> okay, but that's not new. No, no, our channel. Not... Our channel is new. It's a, it's no, two I'm years old about, now. No, I'm talking about an old channel like from back in the day that was like doing crazy good, that oh. isn't doing good now. I don't really know. Um, game Grumps? I don't, no, yeah, I'm no, <laughs> kidding. Yeah, good. Game Grumps. Go with Game Grumps. Go with Game Grumps. Anything with Shinema. Oh, shit. A oh, anything um, with Shinema related, yeah. Yo, with Shinema, isn't it dead? Have they died yet? No, they're uh, run by Joel, dude. Joel run, uh, owns Machinima, dude. No, isn't it Joel... Owner. He's like a, man, like a guy that works there. Isn't Joel... Wait, are we talking about like Funhouse Rooster Joel or... No, Rooster Teeth Joel. What? <laughs> yeah, that'd be the same person. I don't know if he's in Funhouse. He's... Fun no, I... Hey, you do, bitch. Don't be lying to me. Joel? No. It's talking about Joel Hayman? I'm think... talking yeah, no, about you're... someone else. It's his yeah. name is not Joel, like, but I know like, what He's like, I don't watch Markiplier. And then we're just like, what? Funhouse? We don't really watch that. And he's like, if you don't watch Funhouse? Nah. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, I mean, the real thing is because Kelsey has, they've like, been like, I have a Funhouse. I'm like, whoa, Funhouse. Nice. So that's why I'm like, that can't be Joel from Funhouse. Um, Anyways. Um, no, my point is like, well, okay, we could use Funhouse in this example too. Like if, I feel like channels like Funhouse and I feel like they're very like niche towards a certain audience, right? It is, yeah. And then when you, well, Jacksepticeye and Markiplier are the same. They're also appealing to a wider audience in, because mm. of a different way. But Funhouse is obviously specialized. I think humor is like their humor is like more older humor. Like... And well, yeah, for, no, fun for, fun, for Funhouse. For yeah, Funhouse, Funhouse yeah. is more older humor. And, and they then... have like references and like they talk about movies and make like jokes that people wouldn't get if you're not like above a certain age. Plus, I'm also sick of them uploading GTA constantly. I'm sorry, I love Funhouse. <laughs> but... <laughs> so what's the topic? You for? and fucking achievement hunter. Talking about YouTube. Talk I'm talking about, about we were talking about movies and then I was talking about how and then I was like talking about how Markiplier like still makes videos and is popular and then like I was like oh yeah but how about like YouTube though YouTube though <laughs> how about that how, how about, about them YouTubes guys you're watching guys them YouTubes I just like um, I guess I'm trying to think of a YouTuber that didn't age well, like Smosh. Yeah. I I don't know, like we being specific about like which YouTubers. Or... I don't know. I'm just like, uh, well, I thought that would help because I don't know. Um, I'm just like, I mean, but you like, get you my just... concept that like yeah, 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 there are right. better, there are more like there are other YouTubers that started like way back like when and they have like adapted to a point where they're still watchable even though I'm yeah. like older. And like they're you can tell they've changed, but like in a good way. Like and then there's people that have been like, I'm never gonna change my content. Mm! And then they never do and they <laughs> eventually fall off the platform. Um, I guess you can throw Captain Sparkles and like every other oh, person that oh, does no, like definitely. every other person that I does. I forgot like about that bitch, sorry. I'm <laughs> like, Jordan, no. Yeah, I mean, I, he I seems like a really cool dude, YouTube but he's stuff. I mean, high school me would watch so much YouTube. That's why I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. It's like, since I started watching YouTube stuff, which I guess would have been back like freshman year, I've pretty much only watched like the Switcher channel, some machinima That's stuff. That's two best best friends play. Yeah, two best super best friends play now. Is what they are, and I've just pretty much kept current with them. And then like junior year, I started watching Markiplier. And then a little mm. bit after that, I started watching Game Grumps, and that's still kind of it. I don't really watch anything else on YouTube. I never watch Game Grumps. I couldn't get into Game I, Grumps. I don't watch all of their stuff. I just watch the stuff that I like that seems interesting, or like certain games that I like. I watch like highlight <laughs> clips from them, if anything. I like the little spin-off shows that they started putting out. Yeah. The ten-minute power hours are really funny. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> Oh, Is that um, my dog barking? Really? Probably. I don't know.
Ew. Yeah, gross. <laughs> uh, terrible. I, I, can't. I mean, I guess you can. That's you can leave that in there. Yeah, you just leave that in there. Lie to the people. The people. I I gotta lie to the people, man. Here goes. What's up? That's your audience. Yeah, I'm audible again, and no one knows what the fuck I said. I mean, come on now. It's like, if it's a secret that people don't need to know, it's it'll be better for the well-being. In the long run, the a secret that's just gonna like not be a secret because you're just gonna do it while recording something. The like, human race will thank me. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess you can say like, during, when we were in high school, it was like all the fucking like Asian YouTubers, so like fucking. Uh, was his name Nigahiga or some shit, right? Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> that guy, um, Smosh. Uh, obviously he's not like Asian, but still he's in like. They were all essentially doing the same like. Uh, videos or whatever. I don't know. I never really watched Smosh. Did you guys watch Smosh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. It's like, I, it's like I would want, probably watch their behind the scenes, or like they're like, them driving to go get Taco Bell, which is literally just Edwin. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why I watched them. Maybe that's why I started liking Taco Bell a lot more. I'm probably. pretty sure it's the five-way burrito. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> yeah. Five-way burrito's too godlike. It's pretty good. Anyone who talks shit about Taco Bell, just so, must just send them a five-way burrito. Like, like everyone in my family yeah. like they're the kind of people who like they do the thing once and then they're like well it's terrible so like uh, like what you do with Denny's I was like oh, I've gone there like four times yeah, well, I'm not like, gonna do it again <laughs> anyway <laughs> I don't uh, think so man you need to go for like 10th time uh, yeah. like 15 no, 20 years ago when my parents like first moved to this area and I was still a wee bab Slash Weeb not even alive yet. Wee baby. Uh. <clears throat> uh, my parents had Arby's, and it was back when Arby's wasn't very good, and they were like, this shit Garbo stank. And then I was like, hey, I've never had Arby's. We could, like, try that if you guys want. And they were like, nah, that shit's terrible. And I was like, oh, yeah, when was the last time you went? And they were like, oh, 20 years ago. <laughs> and I'm just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> And anyway, when they went back to Arby's after, like, I was like, let's try it out. It's pretty good. And they're like, hmm. And then I was like, mm, eh, it's right there. I didn't like it the first time, so. I didn't like I the first time 20 years ago, so there's no chance I'll ever like it again. <clears throat> anyway. I eventually, I convinced them to at least try it, and they're like, it's pretty good. Yeah. I <laughs> forgot why I started this tangent, but I can go on. You're fine. Uh, uh, it was just like this whole thing of for some reason no I lost it I don't know where I was going with this yeah you did what the fuck did I say fucking throw it away dude. how did I start just this? throw it away just, just stop how did All I right. start just go back like 10 seconds what did I say doesn't matter I, yeah it doesn't matter it's, well, it's gonna bother me so much when I have to that's edit that, this and that, I know what that, I want to say I'm gonna get mad at my bad self like, <laughs> like god damn it you fucking idiot say the thing so, fucking anime winter 8 2018, Edwin. How's that been? It's not bad. It's a lot better than I think. What, fucking fall or. What, it just passed? Yeah, fall. Uh, fall, yeah. No, we're on fall. What are we talking about? Are we on fall? I don't yeah, know. Fucking we're on know. fall. Winter starts like later. Uh, okay. It was better than, than summer, I think. I didn't fucking watch anything in summer. I kind of forgot what was there. Yeah, I kind of. I mean, I, the only I, thing I can remember of summer is Starling in the Franks, right? That was in spring. Oh, okay, never mind then. I actually could have been winter. I don't know. All I know is actually oh. it was like, do you stink? <laughs> I feel like uh, I liked it, and then like the ending was kind of weird, and I was like, oh. I mean, when I'm like, oh, this is stupid, and then the ending was like, wow, this is really dumb. Oh, what was good in summer was Asobi Asobase. Oh yeah, that was good. Um, I think that was like really the only show that I actually watched. Oh, Review Starlight. I still haven't finished it. I'm like, it's on my backlog of like everything. That's so good. There's Fully Cooley, but I didn't see it. Fully Cooley! It's pretty good. Uh, um, let's see. Alternative was great. Progressive was eh. 
Is progressive the one before alternative? Yeah, a uh, progressive uh, was one. That was the one with the chick with the. I haven't seen either. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things with Fully Cooley and me where like it's the same thing exactly with Delta Rune. Of I would be really <coughs> happy to see other stuff. I don't need more Fully Cooley. No, I, I, I'd like, like to see these people do something else. I don't need uh, Undertale oh, again. You. I don't need Ultimate Only Reality Fully Undertale. Cooley. It's cool and all, I don't hate it. But, like, I would have preferred to have anything else. Nah, I mean, I'm kind of the same, but it was like, I love Fully Cooley because it was, like, one of the first few animes that I started watching. Same, as, yeah. That, like, brought me into anime. It's like same for a lot of people. I'm pretty sure it's for, like, our generation. Yeah. Probably. Fucking Toonami. I mean, we had, I mean, like, we had, yeah, we had Toonami, so, like, fucking Trigun, Cowboy Bebop. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I just yeah, realized the Center on Cargo second season is up this season, too. What the fuck? I forgot to start that shit. Never mind. Um, I gotta play that for the channel. Ten Ring Cockroach? Then play it, because yeah. I'm a beast. Then play it. I have it, and I have Peach Beat Splash now, so I have no excuse. There's no multiplayer in that, in, in any of those, except Peach. 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 I don't know what the fuck it's called. Uh, I mean, point. like, Fully Cooly didn't really need that, like, second or third season at all. It was just, like, people were, like, going, like, yeah, yeah we want more. Yeah, we, we need more. We need more. What happened? What happens after? And they're, like, oh, it's an. Different storylines, so fuck you. Yeah, because even the, like, if you listen to like the their like interviews and shit, it's just like, hey, we heard like it was doing really well in like America. We, we don't know why, but sure, we just fuck it. And they just so it's like, more. yeah, and then you got you got more. And I was like, I was happy about it, but I was like, I don't think I need this though, but I'll take it. So I haven't seen anything in it, and I'm curious. Is it just after? Um. So it's supposed to, like be like take place in like different times ah. so that way it's like you can't like really put shit together but bands will push it together uh, cause I was gonna say I'd be down for like fucking 15 years in the future for Fully Cooley nah, I just mean, like a really so, like, big um, time skip I always like really big time skips yeah there's just big time skips that's all it is and what and Fully Cooley Fully Cooley oh yeah Fully Cooley I'll show you the new one <coughs> I'm talking about the new one the old one didn't really have time skips did it no. no, no, we're talking about like the different, like they're, uh, they are all in like different timelines. Yeah. Ish. Um. Yeah. Uh, so, so what are you watching right now, Edwin? Right now. It's your, it's your anime minute. Go. Sweet. Right now, I'm watching uh, Zombieland Saga, which is fucking yeah, amazing. Fucking awesome. Shit. Uh, what else is there? Grit. Oh, I need to catch up on Gridman. But I saw the first two episodes. That shit was pretty cool. Oh my god, I'm in a brain fart. I'm pretty sure it's like four shows or three shows I'm watching. Oh, I need to watch Cinderella Kagura, so I gotta bookmark that shit. Um, uh, watching <laughs> Bloom Into You. That one's okay so far. It's like, yeah, actually, yeah. Give me, give me your thoughts right now, cause like I have it bookmarked, but I don't know if I should, like want to uh, start it. I've only seen like I think also the first two episodes. So I still need to catch up. Alright, so I'm, well, like, alright, with like the first episodes or whatever that you've seen. Pretty much. <clears throat> girl, uh, main character, girl. Main character, Chan. Main character, Chan. Is like, once that romance, uh, I guess like, feeling, you know, you know, the feeling you fall in love and you're like, oh my god, just, like, you know, whatever, that feeling? type of stuff. So that, she wants that feeling, but she can never like, have that or she she doesn't feel anything so like when yeah i think someone confessed to her she didn't her heart didn't race or anything it was just like whatever turn them down da, da, da. and then she goes into this Didn't get raked whoever that was yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> and she goes to the student council i think and one of the chicks there um is like some really hot girl i guess you know because you know long hair straight black long black hair yeah, yeah, yeah and then she ends up falling for the other girl the main character chan but you know since she's the older one she wants to play it all cool a lot at first da, 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 and then she's like no i should have fell for you and the other girl just like doesn't have an, a reaction and she's like more surprised or i guess her reaction is surprised because she thought that since she was a cool senpai, you know, she turns down a bunch of people, right? So she probably, you know, they pro- she probably thought that she felt the same, but it was like, no, I guess she just didn't swing that way. They go out, 
but she's still like kind of eh Whatever. about it. Yeah. And she's just like a kind of person who just kind of agrees with going stuff. So that's why she, they went out in the first place. Uh, yeah, I need to catch up on it, so I really can't like say my thoughts on it. I just know that's how it kind of goes. All right, all right. It's yeah. Fine. It's it's pretty cool. Oh, there's. But well, you know what we have watched? Yes. Rasko does not Bunny Girl Senpai. Yeah. Does not look like at Bunny Girl Senpai. We don't ever call Xavier it that. and I watched the shit out of the anime. Yeah, that show's good. Yeah, it's fucking it's so amazing. Good. I thought it was gonna be trash. I, I, I'm being honest. I thought it was gonna be trash harem. I'm like, not gonna watch it. And then Xavier's no, it's, like, I heard it's... good things about this. Let's watch it. And I'm like, like oh. yeah. I, I was like, to... person, so it's not like I could do anything else if he started watching it. So I was like, I'm glad Edwin got to me first about that and not Sim because, like, Sim, like, described it. I must call him out. He's, he's like, it's not great. I don't like it because, like, they introduce the girl that he likes and he's dating her. And there's, like, a bunch of all these other girls just popping out of nowhere. Just, like, wanted to be with him. I'm like... Well, yeah, and then yeah, when you think great. about the source material, it's kind of strange because the source material is only that first arc. Hmm. Really? So, yeah. That's it. literally it. It's only about the first girl. Damn. Damn. I mean, so, first girl is kind of great. I'm not gonna lie. She's best girl, but that's why there's other girls, because you know he's fucking loyal, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, just look at him. It's, they're, they're they're all... it's, <laughs> just, it's really around, nice dude. where it's like... Actually, one of those where it's like, yeah, I like you main character, and then he's like, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that, Kohai. It's Kohai, Kohai. I already have this, this hot girlfriend. Yeah. So, peace. I mean, that's like a really like fucking bad way to put it, but essentially, that's you know, literally what it, happened, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's like essentially closure. Like, you know, also, it's he not just one of those where I it's hate. like, oh my god, I like you so much, and then they just go on learn about the day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hate. And like, I hate anime where. Also, I'm so glad. I was so afraid they weren't gonna get together. Like, this is spoilers, I guess. I don't know, really, but I'm. Just, uh, I mean, it's like spoiler episode. for like the first three episodes or first two, I think. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you know how anime usually is, like, it's like, oh, I we'll like you, you, main character Kuhn, and he's like, <gasps> you can't possibly <laughs> like me. <laughs> hey, that's <I'm>... me. <laughs> Get out of here. You don't like me. You're not serious. I'm too embarrassed to date anyone. Ah! <laughs> I like you a lot, I'm too scared to admit it. Ah! <laughs> that's, like, the whole anime. <laughs> and it's two characters that like each other a lot, and they both are fucking, like, pussy about it. The so. biggest Cinderace of all. Oh, <laughs> it's the that's worst. Basi that's basically an Isekoi or whatever it's called. It's Isekoi worse. is just all that. I'm like, fuck, dude. Just like, put the key in already. <laughs> it is. It's fucking annoying, dude. So I'm like, still watching it though, because I'm like, fuck. I'm, I'm like halfway through this. I might as well keep continuing. Yeah, I want to finish it off. Episodes of the second season, and I'm like, okay. I think I'm done for now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'll let it end or whatever. It's, it's all good. I just won't watch it. Yeah, I saw that there was a second season, I was like, this doesn't need a second season, but if you guys couldn't, like, cut off or, like, finish this arc or whatever that they needed to do, but whatever, okay. Yeah, didn't they end up, like, kind of finishing it, and then, like, it wasn't really because, like... I don't know, I'm still on episode 7 right now. I could have sworn, like, they had, like, some locket or something, right? And someone yeah, else, he... like, guy has a key or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so, so, like, um... The dude, uh, main character, Kun, is like, he has the locket, and he's all like, yo, I'm like, keep on to, holding on to this locket, because this girl I met, like, who knows how long ago, 10 years ago, actually, was like, let's get married, and then he's like, yeah, let's do it. So, and then I think it's like, his other friend is like that friend from 10 years ago, and the, mm -hmm. they just don't put, the, and she has the key, and she's just like, I, I like him, he's, he's probably the dude I made the thing with. But he, like he's in a relationship, and then obviously it's a sham relationship. Yeah. So I'm all like, bro. It's like, and they keep cucking me too. It's like, fucking like he has like every opportunity to put the key in, but then he's like, this isn't the key. How's this not the key when he yeah. doesn't do it? I'm like, oh my god. But yeah, that's basically that whole like premise of that show. I remember like a few years back, I was trying to get into more like romance manga because I read manga way faster than I watch anime and yeah. uh, they all kind of had that same issue for me where like 90% of it is like will they hold hands and at the very end they hold hands and it's like bitch 
<laughs> well, I just read wow. like 60 chapters to see these two people hold fucking hands. Japan. Dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <that's> awesome. <laughs> and like I yeah, watch like certain ones Japan. like fucking Peach Girl and it does it, but it's not as bad because it's like, oh, she kissed the boy and we're only on chapter 10. Oh, boy. Whoa. <laughs> you should watch Bunny Girl Senpai Jacob. Jacob, you should actually watch that, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll add it to the like 80 shows I'm supposed to. All watch. right, so we're gonna. All right, so we're gonna like prioritize that list. Very I'm soon. sorry, but I'm watching Dragon Ball Z now, guys. So. Oh yeah, you're watching Dragon Ball Z. So <laughs> Everyone, no Everyone year, stop. <laughs> yeah, already, everything else stops. I hit episode 10 of Dragon Ball Z, and that shit's pretty bomb. I have only, I've only ever seen Kai. So like it's the like music the version. Yeah, the music yeah, and like everything is really different. There's already more filler. Hello. Gohan was hanging out up. with a fucking uh, robot for an episode. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, dude. Fillers. Mr. Popo back is super black. <laughs> he's black. like, he's, he's not like purple, blue. isn't he? He's purple. He's blue in Kai. And he's, uh, and he's just straight. No, 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 he's, like, he's, isn't he purple right now? He's like the most black he's ever been, and it's insane. And I'm like, how the fuck did they get away with this shit? Holy crap. Because of the 90s. <clears throat> 90s and 80s. Japan back in the day, dude. They didn't know. Yeah, Japan back in the day. <laughs> um, I kind of, I'm, I kind of hate you guys. You guys started that yesterday when I fell asleep. You like, I, I even heard you. And then you started snoring, and uh, yeah, was, was like, I was sleeping. I fell asleep. asleep, and then we moved you out. Like, yeah, you make like the weirdest noise. You're like. <laughs> <"Hee-hee."> <laughs> what the fuck? While you were sleeping, <laughs> and we were like, Zarky. Yeah, oh, wait, Zarky. Yeah, and it would be like he'd be like. I'm like, okay. Um, I'm like, this is wholesome, but also I was like, I need to, I need to stop because, okay, because um, my friend Maya came in and then she brought her boyfriend who had never been in the group or call, and I was like, we cannot give this impression that people are allowed <laughs> yeah, to fall asleep in the group like, oh, the call. Yeah, it's like a movie date. It's either yeah. that or it's me yelling at him. I don't know if anyone wanted to move him, but I constantly was like, hey, is Zarky asleep? Is that Zarky? Hey, can we move him? <laughs> like, is it... I mean, you guys should have done it the first time. Well, I didn't know if you were actually asleep. I thought, like, I, I like was the asleep. first couple times I heard it, I was like, what the fuck is that? I thought that was, like, actually Maya's boyfriend, and then I was like, oh, no, it's just Zarky. And then when Kelsey said his, or when Kelsey brought it up when we were in league, I was like, oh, fuck, Zarky is actually asleep. I'll just go boom to AFK. I figured if you were awake when I said that, you would have been like, bitch. Yeah, you know, I would respond to you yeah, guys. Yeah, like, like, you, you would have said something. I mean, wouldn't that be better? I mean, probably. I mean, what, all right. So, what's better, the impression of "Yo, fuck you guys" or <laughs> whatever noise Yo, I was making? That's a pretty guys. good first impression for what Zarki does to us in this chat. Yeah, but we discussed this already. I'm like the big tsundere online, and then like when you guys are around me, I'm like babaka, babaka. I don't think Kelsey like fully got that experience, but she'll get it eventually. Wait for what? The Cinderella, Cinderella experience. Cinderella Zarky, yeah. Cinderella Ultra Cinderella Zarky. Ultra Cinderella. I've got the experience of you buying me a gift and then being like, thanks, and then you like don't reply, and then I'm like, I know he says he's Yeah, like, that's You're Zarky. Welcome. There's something yeah, there really funny to the fact that like if you're genuinely nice and like compliment Zarky, he'll just like stammer for a second as he doesn't know how to respond. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> so I've never been complimented. Like, so I'm like, like fuck last, you. Last night like, you came into the group long. chat. And he was like, what the fuck is up, bitches? And I was like, hey, Zarky, love you, man. You're doing pretty good. And then he was just like, bitch. <laughs> but, it, but, it, but it was like, I fucked it up because I got excited. Just it was the, but it was just uh, like, bitch. yeah. But, just, uh, but, we didn't, it a little bit. but we didn't get the audible bitch. It was just like, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> like, like, he just didn't know what to say. <laughs> nah, I fell asleep just because I was like, I got to go to work at 8 tomorrow, so... I, I was just like listen to you guys and I'll jump out and then I didn't jump out and then I was just like watching something in the background too. I don't know how people like, I heard, I heard you say my name the first time. I was like, huh? I thought I was dreaming already, so I was like, oh, it's probably just my dream. I don't know how people fall asleep on their desk. Most of the reason my already. desk is really tiny and not, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Your desk, that's really tiny. If I'm if I'm like done playing or I'm not even playing at all, I'll just go to bed. I go to my bed and get on the laptop. Uh, my bed is like one step away from my thing, so I just lay down. And me too. Oh, Cyber What's Monday season? already? Yikes! It's been Cyber yeah. Monday or some shit for like New Egg at least. 
Dude, Black Friday isn't Black Friday anymore. It's just uh, Black Week. I don't know, man. It's just Black like, Month. It's just Black, Black Month. month. Just sales Month. Sales. <laughs> so, like, don't even buy shit during October. Or, I mean, yeah, uh, October. And yeah. just, like, wait till <clears throat> November. Because nothing ever pops up during October. Yeah, because it's going to go on sale in November and they don't want to fucking. Yep. Yeah. I bought myself a camera. Speaking of which, we might have some show ideas of like um, Jacob being Master Chef. But yeah, we don't know yet. Well, if you ever come down, I'll make some fucking bomb ass quesadillas, dude. Yeah, we'll, we'll make your mouth watery so you can go get some food. Our so you can realize that you need food. <laughs> yeah, but I do some crazy shit. No, I shoot my own horn. He's tooting his horn, guys. You guys can't see it, but my eyebrows are going up and down. Oh. Yeah. Uh, did you tell me thank you, Kelsey? I don't fucking remember. I was like, Kelsey knows that I know, I know that she knows that she's going to thank me, so I'm like... I think I said that I was going to fight you, which was the equivalent. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. So the tower is huge. You I got it, Kelsey though, and unboxed it from a bigger box. Thank you. You're too sweet. I should fight you. Yeah, and then I wrote, you had your chance. <laughs> and then I wrote, you had your chance. Mary. <laughs> I know, but it was only nice and hungover. I couldn't fight you. And I said, lol, sure. That, yeah, that's me and Zarky typing, which is like... It has that's like me a typing weird, with everybody, like, though. It's like a weird energy. It's like... It's like... When I, when I type at Zarky, it's like small dick energy. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. like yeah, no, Kelsey doesn't use her big dick on me. Oh, She's man. like, yeah. and then why Shia is pose? like big dick energy. <laughs> you see that Tumblr <laughs> post? Where it's like persona text messages, and it's like, what if the characters talk like they text? And it shows like fucking, uh, scary. fucking what's his face? Yeah, Are you, it's you? been too long. Yeah, no, I can't remember their fucking Yusuke? names. It's from four, and it's like Yosuke oh, just four. like sub so guy types like a fucking little girl. <laughs> he types like he doesn't know fucking like any words yeah, in the like, entire emojis world. And shit. And then it's just like, fucking uh, now. Tell is just like, will you hang out? Why no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like all caps. Like, <laughs> oh, did Xavier pull uh, pull out the Naoto from the box or no? No, he didn't. When I was over, uh, he said she's too precious. He's probably gonna keep it in. All right. Knows where to put her. I was actually curious. I was like, will Xavier pull the put her out of the box or like just leave her in the box? Uh, I tripped first. over that box. What's that? I tripped over that box, but it was still in the Amazon box. I just tripped over uh, it. <laughs> that, um, Xavier's dad came down. He's like, what's this? I'm like, oh, it's his gift. And he's like, oh, okay. And I like, stared at it, kind of like gave a smile, and then walked away. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> his dad's cryptid. You want to talk about big nice. dick energy? Like yeah, Xavier's his dad. Big dick energy. <laughs> Xavier's dad is like, the biggest dick energy. <laughs> it emanates. Fucking pulsates like across the house, even though you, you like don't see him. He's there. Like he he big dick um J Edwin. I don't know. Did we talk about that? Even though it's really dumb, I would like to make the reference to Bleach about like pressure or whatever. Spiritual pressure. Yeah, where it's like fucking uh, Xavier's dad's like Kampachi, where like he can just freeze you in place with his pressure because it's so powerful. <laughs> 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 so dumb. It's pretty great. <laughs> as much as I think Bleach is dumb, Kenpachi's awesome. <laughs> the captains are pretty cool. I mean, like a few of them are pretty cool. It's like this isn't a very I don't good the names Black anymore. Friday deal. Us? I mean, oh, we're, we're not good deals at all. I guess it's technically down from three hundred nineteen. I mean, Edwin's I a pretty guess, strong deal. Like wants to. Yeah, I think Edwin a good Edwin deal is a pretty good deal. Best deal out of all of us. I, I think the Black Friday deal right now is that Edwin's in this podcast. He comes with like an insane Idol Master account, dude. It's crazy. Um, yeah, dude. I don't know if that's a deal, dude. <laughs> Sounds really expensive to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a one time purchase. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, but you had to do a late fees. <laughs> yeah, continue with your um your Edwin story. Oh yeah. Oh uh, um. I mean, I feel like Edwin should tell the story. <laughs> it's an Edwin story. We all witnessed it. We're just like, damn. <laughs> what? Where, um, uh, Dixie Rich Dad big dicked you. 
Yeah. Well, you picked all of us, but like pretty much specifically all of us, towards like, you. Yeah, pretty much. We were like hanging out at Xero's house for my birthday. Uh, fuck, we were just in the garage and just talking, drinking and shit. And like, I'm pretty sure his dad was also drinking a little bit, wasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's uh, I think his uncle was over or something. Yeah, yeah. So I came to the garage, you know, we were talking, we were like, oh, hey, you know, how's it going? How you doing? And then, um, fuck, I'm like super tired right now. <laughs> yeah, like, I honestly feel like I just woke up, even though I've been awake for like six hours. Damn, dude. But, yeah, he's, he was just talking to us, you know, been saying like, oh, you know, thanks for, you know, being your, a friend to my son, da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, anytime, you know, this guy's a cool dude. And <laughs> he starts bringing out his fucking wallet, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, shit, like, is this guy just gonna give me money or something? <laughs> and he was like, oh, what, what, what's this? Oh, where did I get this money from? And this dude straight up pulled, like, three fucking bills, like, 300 right there. And I'm like, oh, did you give this to me? And I'm like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, what's this nigga's either trolling me so hard or he's actually gonna give it to me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, like, I was like, Xavier's dad can't be this drunk to yeah, right? money, right? And I was like, no, I didn't put that shit. It was 300. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, I can't straight up say 300. That's way too much. So I was like, no, I, I was like 100. I was like, 100 have been like, oh my God, that's so a lot. Like, 300, I'm like, oh, take it easy, buddy. It's just, just too big for me. My mouth can't fit that. <laughs> Well, yeah, and I was like, oh, no, you know, I didn't put it there. And he's like, oh, okay, whatever then. He puts it away, fucking walks out, and I'm like, what the fuck? Is <laughs> we all just stare at each other. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? This dude just came up to me, fucking just showed me three three $300 and walked away. I'm like, what? What are we doing here? It's pretty fucking great. That was like a regular key version of that scene from It's Always Sunny, where it's just like, oh, no. I dropped my Magnum condoms for my monster dong. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like same fucking. That's exactly what same happened. Same energy. Like, oh dude. man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I- I'm. I'm a-